As the Donbass conflict enters a new phase of escalation, the threat of outright military conflict between Russia and Ukraine looms bigger than ever. Now, Russia has moved some of its military equipment to tactical positions near Ukraine, and if there is a war, what weapons would Russia use to attack Ukraine? Here are the top 10 weapons that Russia may use in an assault on Ukraine. So firstly, we have the Iskander. Now, this is a tactical short-range missile system having several different conventional warheads, including a cluster munitions warhead, a high-explosive fragmentation warhead, an earth penetrator for bunker busting, even nuclear warheads, and many more. The system can therefore destroy both active military units and targets to degrade the Ukraine's capability to wage war. Ukrainian air defense systems would have a difficult time defending against the Iskander. The Iskander-M travels at a hypersonic speed of Mach 6 to 7 and an altitude of 50 kilometers. Its accuracy is 5 to 7 meters of CEP. Another possible weapon is the Su-35S. This is the latest version of the Sukhoi Su-35, which is an advanced capability multi-role air superiority fighter developed from the Su-27. This fighter outperforms Ukrainian military aircraft by a wide margin and are also capable of launching devastating precision ground strikes against key Ukrainian military and political infrastructure using a variety of air-to-surface missiles and guided bombs. Its high maneuverability with a high angle of attack and is equipped with high-capability weapon systems that contribute to the new aircraft's exceptional dogfighting capability. Main battle tanks will undoubtedly play a role in the war's larger pitched battle. Russian T-90 tanks have purportedly been observed in the Donbass region and this tank is arguably one of the most battle-tested tanks. It has seen combat in Dagestan, Ukraine, and Syria. The T-90 MBT has undergone numerous upgrades, and the T-90M is the latest version of the T-90A. It is equipped with the new advanced fire control system Kalina. It has an improved armor and a new upgraded gun to a 46 m 5 as well as a remote-controlled anti-aircraft gun. To counteract this tank, the Ukrainians will depend on Javelin missiles. Up next is the 2S-35 Qualitsia SV. This is a new modern Russian self-propelled howitzer. It is likely a possible weapon to be used against Ukraine in combat. It can fire a wide range of munitions, including standard and rocket-assisted high-fragmentation projectiles, cluster projectiles with anti-tank submunitions, jammer-carrying projectiles. Range of fire with standard projectile is around 30 km and around 40 km with rocket-assisted projectile. Its armor can protect the crew from small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. It also has NBC protection and automated fire suppression equipment. In the events of a Russian invasion of Ukraine, significant engagements will be fought in congested urban terrain, with lighter and more adaptable infantry fighting vehicles taking precedence over their larger main battle tank equivalents. The newest Russian BMP-3 IFV will play a key role in Russia's ground operations in Ukraine. The BMP-3M is a highly updated derivative of the popular Soviet BMP-3 IFV with a redesigned turret, additional ammunition types, improved protective systems, and increased firepower. BMP-3s were seen being moved across a bridge that now connects Russia and Crimea in a video footage released earlier this week. Next is the BTRMD Rakushka. This is a new Russian armored personnel carrier designed specially for airborne troops. It is armed with a remotely controlled 7.62mm machine gun for self-defense. Sources claim that the vehicle is also fitted with a 30mm automatic grenade launcher. A Ukraine attack would likely use airborne forces to land behind enemy lines, but the BTRMD Rakushka is most likely effective against that. 
The Rakushka would provide targeting data directly to the weapon site, which would be dangerous for Ukrainian low-flying air targets, including aircraft, helicopters, and UAVs. Up next, we have the Eurogun 1M. This is a recent Russian artillery rocket system that can fire all current Smirch and Eurogun rockets. This artillery rocket system is extremely effective against area targets, such as concentration of troops and armored vehicles, artillery batteries, airfields. The maximum range of fire is 70 km with ordinary and 90 km with extended range rockets. Some sources report that the Eurogun 1M can also use newly developed 300 mm rockets with a maximum range of 120 km. It could cause much damage to Ukrainian troops if deployed. Units of Russia's flagship S-400 Triumph missile defense system, located in Crimea in particular, represent a serious danger to military forces in eastern and central Ukraine. In the center region of Ukraine, the S-400 air defense systems can kill any airborne targets. If Ukrainian force fires missiles against Russian troops, the Russian S-400 would be able to intercept them. The S-400 is able to intercept cruise missiles at a range of about 40 kilometers due to their low-altitude flight paths. Not just cruise missiles, but it can destroy aircraft, ballistic missiles, and can also be used against ground targets. In the last few weeks, numerous combat helicopters have been seen deployed in support of exercises in Belarus or close to the Russian-Ukraine border in Belgorod, including Agile Ka-52 attack helicopters. The Ka-52 is a multi-role all-weather attack helicopter capable of operating daytime and at night. It can destroy enemy armored and unarmored ground targets, low-speed aerial targets, and personnel at the front line and in tactical depth. It is also deployed as a surveillance platform and aerial command post for a group of attack helicopters. Should a war happen between Russia and Ukraine during the conflict, the Russian Sukhoi Su-34 fighter bomber would most likely be used. The Su-34 can carry maximum capacity of 8,000 kilograms. Primary air-to-air -air weapon is the R-77 missile. Two R-73 short-range air-to-air missiles are also typically carried on wingtip rails. Guided bombs include the KAB-500 and KAB-1500. Russia has deployed Su-34 bombers to the frontline Primorsko Akhtarsk airport, positioned about 75 miles from Ukraine's vulnerable border city of Mariupol, according to new pictures acquired on February 13, 2022. Well, that's it from the buzz for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.